Hello, welcome to the fourth part of our learning videos about the Neuland. My name is Martin and I will guide you through the uh, 3D printing, basic settings and some case studies uh, with our new material Neuland. Uh, well, the printing with uh, Nonoiland is very similar to PLA. Uh, so everybody who is uh, able to print with uh, basic PLA is able to print with Nonoiland. Uh, the basic difference uh, with, between these uh, two materials are uh, definitely the printing temperature, uh, the fan speed uh, and the adhesion. The basic print settings are nozzle temperature around 175 to 195 degrees because this material uh, flows very well uh, through the nozzle, uh, 0 to 55 degrees Celsius on the hotbed. And the printing speed uh, may vary from 30 to 50 millimeters per second, but this will always depend on your printer, on your settings, if it's your printer is capable of a high printing speed. Uh, or whatever uh, the improvements you made. So there is no need uh, of a brim or rafts for printing Donoyland, but if you are experiencing some adhesion issues so that brim is always a good option to, to secure the print on the belt plate, so it's also possible. Uh, the part cooling fan speed is maybe the one of the differences between the PLA and Nonoiland. Uh, I would recommend uh, 50 to 70 percent of speed uh, part cooling fan. Uh, and if you are printing big overhangs, uh, then you can go up to 100 uh, percent. There is no need for enclosed chamber or heated chamber, but remember. Uh, if you have the stable environment, you get the best prints uh, with every material you print. This is not connected with Nonoiland, but with every uh, plastic polymer you, you are printing. Uh, as I said, uh, the temperature of the printing with Nonoiland is a little bit lower than PLA. It should be around uh, 180-190 degrees Celsius. Uh, I don't do... Uh, well, that's for the basic brass nozzle. Because if you are using stainless steels, you go usually uh, higher with each material because of the thermal conductivity. So this uh, settings is for brass nozzles. Also, I don't recommend to... Uh, to print above the 210 degrees because uh, above this point the material can start to degrade and uh, the part will be uh, not so strong, uh, not, uh, the lines will not be connected properly, so stay below this uh, temperature. Uh, regarding the adhesion, uh, we, uh, well, I would like to recommend always use a PVA glue or 3 d lac uh, because it's uh, all uh, secure the print on the belt plate and also it's uh, easily removable after the printing. So I recommend to always use some uh, PVA glue stick uh, like Cores, Uhu or 3 d lac And uh, the last um, tip for me is uh, when you are printing big overhangs uh, above the 50 degrees, uh, definitely run the, run the uh, part cooling fan at 100% and uh, decrease the layer height to 0.1 or 0.15 because you get the nicest result uh, of the printed part. Uh, well, uh, definitely it's uh, bed preparation. Uh, the bed must be very well clean, uh, deeply clean, uh, so it's uh, nice prepared than, than uh, uh, add uh, the glue or 3D lac. Uh, that's very important. And also after the printing, when you finish the print and uh, if you have a, uh, another usage of the printed part, so use it, don't throw it to, to bin or something like that. Uh, always think about uh, the usage and recycling.
Well, I have also prepared uh, the one case study from company uh, Fremach, uh, which is focused on the automotive. Uh, they join us with uh, the green prototyping process and they, was the uh, they were the first one who used and tested our Nonoilen. Uh, they are printing gears and gauges for uh, car stand sales and uh, because they are making marks on buttons and, and so on. So, and they really appreciate the easy of printing PLA. Uh, what is what is interesting that uh, with uh, printing uh, car parts with nonoilen, uh, they extended the life cycle of the parts, and also because they need uh, hundreds or thousands of them, uh, they they uh, appreciate the uh, recyc recyclability and the sustainability of the material because it becomes a big topic in industry sector. Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, you can subscribe to our channel, uh, you can follow us on the social media and if you have any questions regarding the material, the printing or whatever you want, you can contact us uh, at the helpdesk at uh, filamentum.com.